Hi, I'm James Stegman. I own Comstock Heritage, and we do the buckles for Western States Endurance Run. If you finish the Western States Endurance Run in 24 hours or less, you get a sterling silver buckle with a bronze cougar on it. And then if you finish it between 24 and 30 hours, you get a bronze buckle with a bronze cougar on it. The buckles are all handmade in Reno, Nevada. And uh, the buckles are identical except for their materials. Um, they're engraved by hand, they're painted by hand. It's a really laborious process that we start usually in January. I think that Wendell Roby started the Western States Endurance Ride in, in 1955, uh, somewhere around there. Uh, and then in the 70s, Gordon Ainsley's horse went lame and he decided to try and run it. And so that's when the Endurance, the Western States Endurance Run really began. We've been making the Western States Endurance Run buckles almost since the beginning. We started making the buckles for the Endurance Ride in the 60s, I believe. And then that kind of continued uh, in the 70s to the run. During the, the 70s and 80s, um, we did some of the buckles, but not all of the buckles. And then starting uh, in 1990, um, I believe that they made a, a new, I remember them coming to the shop when I was in my 20s, uh, Norman Klein and Shannon, and they said they wanted to um, pay more attention to the buckle and make it a really, uh, really great award. And so that's really when it started to get big. And I think that's also when the run started to exponentially grow. Probably um, eight years ago, we decided that maybe we'd try and do this at the finish line. And the first year was really chaotic because they were having the awards ceremony we were still putting names on. Um, we've kind of gotten it streamlined since then. And uh, it's a fun thing to do and be involved. You know, when you're making the buckles, it's usually till the very last day before and then you go on vacation. And so this extends that a little bit and makes us more part of the community. So you not only get a buckle for 100 miles in a day, but if you do it more than um, like 10 years, you can get a thousand mile 10 days. Or if you do it in 10 years and you don't, they're not all sub 24, it's just a thousand miles. Um, but those are so much more rare these days because it's so much harder to get in. At the beginning, I think Andy Jones, Wilkins, uh, Tim Tweetmeyer, I don't know if Craig has one, but a lot of the people have those 10 year buckles, but now it's, it's, uh, it's pretty rare. The endurance run and ride buckles in our family are, are kind of legendary. You know, every generation is involved. Um, I remember my dad coming home and right now the, the panels say 100 miles one day. Those are cut out with, a, not a machine, but a, a press. Um, but before we had that, you would hand saw each panel out and it would just, he would sit at the kitchen table with the saw and just over and over, because if you figure, 300 buckles, there's four panels each, so it's 1,200 pieces, then you have two ribbons and a cougar. It just, it's something that takes a long time to do. They're very labor intensive. Our business has changed over the years in that more of what we do is one of a kind pieces. And so in terms of volume, this is the biggest number of pieces that we do for any organization in a year. Award buckles have stayed 100% consistent over the years. We've updated the tools from time to time as they get worn out. But one of the nice things about this is that they're so iconic that it's the same over and over again. And the board is really kind of in uh, on top of that. And that's, you know, if you've waited eight years to get in here, you don't want a buckle that's kind of like the other one. You want one that's just like everybody else has. I think with the, the award buckles, um, we are as committed to the race as the race is committed to us. And so it's part of, it's part of our family, but it's always, it's been around. So everyone's really appreciative. It's a great organization to work with. It's just all positive. We've been making these buckles in my family as, as long as I can remember. And I think that we're gonna to continue to make them until they don't want us to anymore. <laughs>